All right, gang, leaving off uh, from the previous video, we, we looked at this problem here. I, I haven't changed the numbers at all, uh, but I realized that you may be watching this video uh, three or four days later, a week later. Uh, uh, one never knows. But anyway, uh, just to give you a situation, kind of the scenario here, uh, what I left off the previous video thinking about was, um, you know, what if we refinanced, but we had the discipline to continue to pay the um, uh, the payment that we were paying with the original loan. Uh, and if I were gonna approach this, I would definitely, uh, going from 9.2 down to 4.2, uh, I would definitely refinance. But what I would do, or at least I would try to do if I could be disciplined enough, is continue to make the same payment. So you're gonna get more bang for your buck because your payment's gonna be made at 4.2 instead of 9.2. So if I were going to work this problem, the first thing I would do, as always, uh, what if we did not refinance? Uh, what would we pay? As I don't like that blue ink pen, uh, let me let me search for something a little better. Um, let's see if uh, see if this will work a little bit better. Uh, so what if we uh, we did not? Uh, again, refinance. Yeah, it shows up much better. Well, what I'd want to do is I'd want to put uh, in my calculator uh, the, 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 you know, the problem. And um, so let's do that. So I'd want to go into TVM Solver. So originally, and again, this was 12 years ago when they bought the house, but 12 years ago they signed a 30-year mortgage. So the mortgage is going to have to be calculated on 30 years. Uh, the interest rate is a whopping 9.2. Uh, that's, um, for, for, for these days, it's very, very, very high. Uh, they bought the house for 350000 but they paid 10% down. And for reasons I explained in a previous video, the easiest way to calculate um, uh, what they actually financed after the 10% down is just to take... Uh, 350,000 times 0.9. Now, we want to be a good customer and pay off our loans so future value is zero. And guys, always come down at the bottom and make sure you've got um, PYCY is 12 if you're making monthly payments. Also, make sure at the bottom you have what's called ending. Uh, so we set it up on an ordinary interest schedule. Now, let's go up and calculate the payment. And we see our payment here is going to be 2580.02. Now, I want to multiply that by 30 and by 12 to see how much we would pay um, if we stuck with this uh, part uh, with 9.2 interest rate and did not refinance. So this is the easy part. Just use your calculator, <laughs> and it still kind of boggles the mind that for a three hundred and uh, what three hundred fifteen thousand dollar mortgage, you're going to pay back um, almost triple. So nine hundred twenty eight thousand, almost a million dollars, guys. I think that's where uh, the whole quantitative literacy. Uh, kicks in um, that's that's to, that to me that's just staggering now uh, the next thing we're going to do is we want to see how much would we pay if we refinanced well the first thing we have to realize is we fi refinanced 12 years later so what I would do is I would do balance 12 times 12 to find out how much we owe the bank after the 12 years. So I'm going to come into finance, search down, find my balance key, and put in 144, which is 12 times 12. So guys, after 12 years, when we decide to refinance, we owe the bank 271 thousand uh, dollars 874.69 all right so now we're gonna 
refinance. Okay, so I just need to put this amount in TVM Solver, and you can see that uh, they are refinancing um, on a new 20 year mortgage. Okay. Their interest rate has dropped significantly from 9.2 to 4.2, so it's going to save them a lot of money. And uh, they are going to be refinancing uh, 271,874.69. And, uh, you know, come on down, make sure we got 12 and 12. People, uh, students uh, all the time, you know, when I teach Calc 1, 2, 3, and even some statistics courses, students will sometimes ask me, you know, when am I ever going to use this Dr. Darbro? When am I ever going to use algebra? Uh, and I'm usually pretty honest with them. Uh, you know, probably never. <laughs> but, uh, and I think students appreciate that I am honest with them. Um, but, uh, uh, guys, each and every one of you will be um, in a situation where you probably will one day refinance a loan. So you never know. Somebody had a student one time ask me, say, well, what if I hit the lottery? Am I going to need this stuff? Uh, you're going to need it more than ever if you hit the lottery because um, uh, it's going to take a lot of savvy to uh, to, to take care of uh, millions of dollars. All right, gang, so here's what we have. We uh, After 12 years, we decide to refinance. The bank tells us we own 271874 They'll tell us we'll need, need to make payments of 1676.30 for the next 20 years. All right? But we don't want to do that. We want to keep this original payment. We want to have the discipline to continue paying the higher payment because we know that we're going to get our uh, 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 new uh, loan paid off earlier. Well, how much earlier? Well, let's figure it out. So instead of making a payment of um, uh, 1676, let's make a payment of 2580.02, and then let's go up here and see how long it'll take to pay that loan off at that amount. So it's going to take 132 months, we'll call it. So 132 months at 2580.02. Now guys, look up here. This is how much we paid if we hadn't refinanced. So what we need to do now is we need to calculate, and it's going to be very simple to do, how much would we pay over the entire 12 plus 20, 32 years? This would have been over the original 30, but we've refinanced after 12, so we paid 12 years at the original loan of 9.2, and then we're going to pay 20 at the next rate of 4.2, but we're not going to pay this amount. We're going to pay the 2580 because we're going to be disciplined, and we know it's going to save us a lot of money. So guys, essentially I have two values that I need to add up to find out how much I would have paid if I refinanced. So here's where I am right now. First of all, how much did I pay the first 12 years? Well, 12 times 12, I paid $2,580 and 02 cents. So regardless what happens, I know 371,522.88, and I paid that up here. <clears throat> I had a student one time say, well, why don't we just forget the 12 years here and here and just look at the next uh, 18 or 20? Well, you could do that, but it just takes a little bit more work to separate that out. But you could. But nevertheless, this 371,000 is included here and here because this is the first 12 months, and we didn't decide to do anything until 12 months. Now we got to talk about this next 20 years, but we found out that it doesn't get out to 20 years. It gets out to about 11 years. We get our uh, loan paid off. So refinancing, we're going to get this 20-year loan paid off nine years earlier. It's going to save you a bunch of money. So how much are we going to pay on this new loan? Well, we're going to pay 2580 times 132 months. 
So we're going to pay 340,562.64. Uh, well, guys, we add those two together, we've got our answer. Well, we've almost got our answer. We want to talk about how much we would save. So in this situation, we would pay the bank a total of $712,085.52. And I'm going to put a big squiggly around it just to match what I did up here. So guys, clearly if you take the difference, you're going to see how much you would have saved. So instead of paying the bank 928807.20 that you would have paid, if you did not refinance and continued at 9.2 for the next 18 years, already paid 12, next 18, you would have paid a, a whopping of $928,000, almost a million dollars on a $315,000 home. That's crazy. Uh, in this situation, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you would have paid 712. So uh, if my uh, arithmetic is correct, I get 216,721.68. So guys, we got a lot going on here, so let's make sure that we... I know uh, I've heard people that have the same job as other people. I saw this happen a lot, a lot in Lexmark at, in Lexington. I never worked there, but I saw uh, some of... Uh, people who were older than me worked there. And sometimes they wonder why people making the same amount of money as them are able to do fancier vacations, drive fancier cars. Sometimes they inherit money that you don't know anything about, so it's an external source. But sometimes it's just by making decisions like this. This decision to refinance and continue to pay the loan that they were comfortable paying anyway, well, we're assuming they were comfortable paying it, by continuing to pay that um, would have saved them uh, almost a quarter of a million dollars. Well, gang, uh, I think this stuff's kind of cool. Uh, I really do. And just keep in mind, when you all become millionaires because of what you learned in Math 1700 from Dr. Darbro, that uh, you're going to think about me. <laughs> hey, send me some money, too. I don't know. No, I'm fine. Just, uh, just think about me. That'll be enough. All right, guys, take care.